Hey everyone, this is Gabby, and today I want to show you, show y'all some of the jobs a chicken farmer has to do when the chickens all leave the house at the end of a season. Now, there are about four different types of chicken farms, maybe even more, but the type I'll be showing y'all today is something called a breeder farm where inside the chicken house are both hens and roosters and the hens lay fertilized eggs that are later collected and are hatched to become baby chickens. So generally a breeder farmer will have their hens for about 10 months and then once the hens are picked up the chicken farmer must now clean and repair the house for the next flock. One of the main repair jobs inside of a chicken house, inside of a breeder house, is the slats. And the slats are raised platforms that the chickens stand on. Above the slats are the chickens, food and water, and underneath is all of the chicken litter. Right here, I'm checking all the slats for any loose slats. Uh, to kind of clarify what a slat is, a slat is a single stick of one inch wide by four feet long. It's a piece of wood. And it is also a combination of 50 slats, 50 of those sticks, on top of three two by six by 12 footers. The word slat describes both an entire platform and the sticks that make, that make it up. Right here, I'm checking the entire left side of the chicken house. Uh, the chicken house is 550 feet long. And on the left side alone, there are more than 6,800 single slats that I have to check. Uh, if they're loose, all I'm going to do is put a single nail through that loose part. And uh, if it's completely broken, I just will rip it out and nail in a new slat. But uh, along with replacing single slats, it's sometimes necessary to replace whole slats because they are damaged beyond continued use. These whole slats are 12 feet long by 4 feet wide. And on top of the 3 by 2 by 6 12 footers are, are a bunch of or 50 1 inch by 4 foot single slats. And in between these slats... Uh, are is three quarter three quarters of an inch to prevent splitting while nailing the slats they are soaked for at least 24 hours uh, this year I've made about three slats in various parts of the chicken house and um, finally also note that these this style of slats is a very old style since this house was made in the uh, in the 70s Newer breeder houses use a different style of slats in their house. Uh, other important parts of the chicken house that become damaged are the posts. And the posts are those things that support both the slats and the roof. Again, <laughs> these posts are, are from an older style chicken house. And newer uh, chicken houses may not even have posts that support the roof and the slats. But the posts in this house, they support the slats and they keep the roof up. And so if a post becomes broken, the roof will sag downward and the slats may not be supported and they'll probably fall to the ground. To remove posts, we dig out as much of the uh, dirt around the old post as we can. Then we jack up the roof so as to remove that post and then we install the new post which in this case is a 4x6x16 by by footer that was cut so as to make the roof flush uh, continuous and not sag where the, where the old post was. Um, repairing the slats and the posts are only two of the many things that can be repaired inside of a chicken house and unfortunately I don't have uh, much footage of any other more complex repair jobs that we did. But we, we repair everything from the walls of the chicken house to the curtains to the nests to the ceiling and, and any other important piece of equipment that we couldn't repair until that time period in between flocks. But throughout the whole process, uh, 
we must do something called moving the slats, which is exactly what it sounds like. We, we move the slats from one side to another and then back to its original position once we are done with that side. Moving the slats is a four-step process, and I'll, I'll give you an example to kind of explain what I'm talking about. So say, for example, we want to move the left side first. So step one is to grab all the slats on the left side of the chicken house and put them on top of the slats that are on the right side. So once we move the left side slats, we work on the left side. And so once we're done with the left side, step two is pulling all of the left side slats off the top of the right side slats and putting them back in place. Step three is grabbing the right side slats and putting them on top of the left side, and then we work on the right side. And then the last step, step four, is just putting back the right side slats. Uh, generally, steps two and three are done on the same day. So once we put back one side slats, we immediately put on the other side slats on top. Now, the primary reason we move the slats is to allow access to heavy machinery that can pick up the tons and tons of chicken litter inside the house. But if we need to do any repairs to the house walls or anything else, we will do that when, when the slats are moved and the chicken litter is picked up. Uh, here you can see me and, and my family's good neighbor, Willie, moving the left side slats off the top of the right side slats. This is step four. So there's no need to grab the right side slats since the right side is already done with. Now finally, for, for all y'all who like numbers and facts, the, uh, the chicken house is 550 feet long. The slats are divided into 12 foot sections between the posts. And in these sections, there are three slats. 550 divided by 12 is about 45 12 foot sections and if there's three slats per 12 foot section uh, 45 times 3 is about 137.5 slats per side so in total the chicken house has about 275 slats uh, on the day we have to do steps 2 and 3 of moving the slats we have to move all 275 slats. Each slat weighs between 175 and 200 pounds. So as you can imagine, moving the slats takes all day and quite a few people. So if you're looking for the best workout you'll ever have in your life, or you just have problems sleeping, <laughs> hit me up so we can move slats one day. But anyways, thanks for watching.